Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be I'll be looking at weapon fusion add-on add-on. I saw this and I was like, eh, this might uh, take give us some like cool and interesting looking weapons. So I might as well take a look at it. See if it's worth the money. And that's what really what uh, this whole like uh Series like me reviewing all the add-ons on the marketplace, well not all of them, but most of them at least, um, is all is about. It's just like, you can watch, so you can watch the videos, and uh, uh, decide, well, partly so you can decide whether or not you think, uh, you know, the add-ons is worth the money or not, or if you just need, or if you're struggling with a specific add-on and need help. With the add on. Yeah, the Weapon Nurse of Fusion expansion. Ex explanation, not expansion. Anyway, with this add on, you uh, can combine new ingots uh, with items uh, to get new cool fused weapons. Use the fusion machine to make your new weapons. You can uh, find the crafting recipe and weapon uh, exp explanations in this book. Good luck, have fun. So, fusion machine. Use the fusion machine to craft your weapons. Four iron, four redstone crafting table. Easy peasy. One, two, three, four. Four. And smash that. There we go. Switch that to craftable. There we go. Uh, place fusion machine. Let's place it over here. So you got. Oh, I think Lily did that. Did you? Yeah, you can see enter right there. Okay. Anyway. Uh, you got a sword and an ingot. Got a blaze rod and an ingot. Crossbow and an ingot. So yeah, got a well, bunch of different weapons. We'll take a look at them in this video. So we've got steel ingot, which is eight iron and one coal. Easy peasy, then mini squeezy. Eight iron, one coal, steel, oh that only gives you one steel ingot, uh, I feel like that should give you eight, oh well, then you've got a shiny ingot which is uh, four light blue, four hair pull and an ink die and an ingot, so Uh, red. Oh, yeah. so, uh, do I have something I have bones over here? Yes, I do. That to make light blue. Them to make hair yeah, cool. I think I've got a texture pack on, but I think that's the right die. Uh, shiny ingot. Oh right, well, yeah, I need an iron ingot. I forgot about that. Iron ingot. And we have a shiny ingot. Next up is the frost ingot, which is a two 
uh, Prison Shard, Steel and Gut, and six snowballs. So yeah, I don't have any snowballs or anything, so I'm just gonna give myself a Frosting Gut. Then we have the firing god, which is is that ne that's never right. That's four quarts and the a uh, uh four quarts magma cream, three blades or blaze powder. The blaze powder. Four quarts. What about the magma cream? The uh, uh which angle was this I'm making? Yeah, fire and got. I am got so yeah that is a never right angle, so I'm just gonna give myself that because I don't have it. Never right. Give at never underscore ingot. There we go. And that's a fire ingot. Next up is the poison ingot, which is which is like a fire ingot. And I think there's an end ingot or something. And then yeah, so I don't have enough resources for that, so let's just get a poison. Give at P poison. Oh. Ingot. Then we have the end of ingot. Yeah, end yeah, so that is the end of ingot. I was right about that. That, that, that use of four steel, eye of ender, and four obsidian. I'll just give myself that. And uh, the end of God, then there's the Ruby God, which is eight redstone dust and the, the a uh, emerald. And you have Sapphire, which is Lapis around the diamond. Each of them, one of them. And that's a Sapphire. And then you have Magic Ingot, which is an Ender Pearl, a Ruby, and a bunch of Amethyst. I don't have any Amethyst, so you get that. Magic ingot. And that's all the ingots. And now we're on to the weapons. So let's craft up these weapons real quick. So I'm going to put this redstone dust in, uh, not redstone dust, this uh, blaze powder in there. So, for this first one, we need an iron sword and an ender ingot. Hold on, I'm just gonna give that key an ender. Oh! Give that key an ingot 63. Alright, so I just need an iron sword now. Make the sword. 
So I right click there, yeah, right click there. And it makes, ah, you don't right click it, you just pick it up. So we have the Ender Spear. So if I look in the book, Ender Axe, Ender Spear, harness Ender Energy for devastating melee strikes. So it does 14 attack damage. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty good. So if I summon a witch, summon a witch. <laughs> oh, that just one shot her. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have my, I forgot, I forget this sometimes, but I do have my armor on. That does give me strength. Oh. But it is a cool effect though. There you go, now that those effects are gone. Yeah, two hits, kill a witch. So yeah, it does uh, pretty good damage. I wanna check real quick, can these be enchanted? So it's these purple ones here. Oh there's the anvil, I was like where's the anvil? So there's the enchanted book, nope, they cannot be enchanted. That is a major downside because while it uh, does do 14 damage, um, yeah, it can be enchanted. So the Tinker's Construct can be enchanted, and my Manulian Cleaver here does 27 attack damage. So while this is better than a Never, a Neverite Sword, which um, which does 8 attack damage, if I enchanted this Neverite Sword. We do fourteen, so it's so this is as good as a sharpness five neverite sword, but at that point why not just get a neverite sword? Um, how much uh, what did the and uh ingots cost to craft? And I think it was just obsidian and then I, oh, and steel, so that's 8, 16, 24, 32 iron ingots, 4 obsidian, which you need a diamond pickaxe to get it, and uh, no, an iron vendor. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive, especially considering it can't be enchanted, where you could just take that diamond pickaxe and get a bit more obsidian and go to the nether. Do a bit of mining in the Never and the, the because you're gonna need to go to the Never anyway to get the uh blaze powder for the Eye of Ender and maybe even the Ender Pill if you're not lucky with Enderman spawns in the overworld. Um So you might as well just get to the uh Neverite, because it's not too difficult to get a bit a bit of Never Well you do need the Neverite upgrade now, so I guess it is a bit so I guess it's a bit more complicated thanks to the Neverite upgrade, but uh, and you do need sharp and sight. I guess it kind of it is kind of worth it if you want to go that route, but it's a bit uh, expensive, especially because you know, can't. I don't know why they can't it can't be enchanted. Also, yeah, mending. It can't be enchanted with mending, because it can't be enchanted, so... Where well, a Neverite Sword can be enchanted with mending, and then you don't have to worry about it running out of durability, and it doesn't look like there's a way to repair these. Oh, I already put it back in. So, I don't know. I think they should... I think you should be able to repair... Uh, not repair, I think you should be able to enchant them. Anyway, next one. Ender staff, so just a blaze rod and an ender ingot. 
I have some glaze rods in here. Glaze rod. It. And we have the Ender Staff. So, what does the book have to say about the Ender Staff? Uh, Ender Staff shoots projectiles at hostile mobs for ranged Ender damage. Does it say how much damage it does? Nope. Uh. It, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit high, it's, well, fairly high, like, if you look where it comes out of, it comes out, like, quite high up. So, let's just summon a witch, and see how much damage this does to her. We'll have, so, one, two, so it does about ten damage-ish. Which isn't too bad for as a ranged weapon. I mean, we can go. Mm, nah. It's not very good as a ranged weapon because it doesn't go very far. It just goes that far, and that seems to be like as far as it'll go. So, I wouldn't really recommend this as a ranged weapon. When you could just like a crossbow or a bow. And it does do more damage. But it doesn't seem to be using up the durability at all. Which is odd. On to the accent right now, I guess. Why am I slow? Does it give you slowness when you use it? No, what gave me... Oh wait, yeah, maybe it was the witch that I fought earlier. Anyway. Uh, oh, okay, not, I guess it's the fire crossbow now. So, I'll just give, give myself... Give... At P... Fire... Hmm. Fire in got 63. And now I just need a crossbow. Uh, I'll just give myself one. You. That's key cross. There we go. Crossbow. Bam. Bam. Fire crossbow. Oh. Doesn't take arrow. Shoots. Uh, fire crossbow shoots arrows causing fiery explosions in an area. Again, it doesn't say how much damage it does, so I'm gonna have to shoot a witch a couple of times to find out. And if I just try and. Oh, this has really rubbish range as well. There we go, I had to aim up a bit, but the range on these are really not good. Especially considering this one's supposed to be a crossbow. <laughs> Two, three. And it takes three hits to kill a witch. She, pro she probably was healing. Uh, this is kind of lame, I have to admit. Like the range is naff. And it just doesn't do that good of damage again. You could just craft a regular bow or crossbow and uh, do that more damage with them. So yeah, that uh, was disappointing. Diamond sword. I'll 
already have some sticks on me. Boom, boom, there we go. That gave me the fire halberd. Inflict burning damage in local area on contact. It does. 15 attack damage? Which is more than the ender spear, which is good, but again, I assume, I'm assume i just going to assume that none of these can be enchanted because why would you just have one that can't be and then the rest can be enchanted? Like, yeah, it does decent damage in an area, but well, like, in an area, I don't think. I think if I summon two witches. Nope. Ah. I'm poisoned now. In the either way. Right. And yeah, it does have durability, so you can have that problem with it not being able to have mending. I will admit these do look cool. It's just that. They're just a bit underwhelming, especially like all the um, rigmarole you have to go through to get these, because you have to get a diamond sword and a fire ingot. And if I go here, fire ingot. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a neverite ingot. And it, do and it only does one more damage than a neverite sword. Which that one's really pushing, I re really don't, well, fully enchanted Neverite Sword. I really don't think it's, uh, it, you know, it's really that good. Again, if these could be enchanted, then it might be a different sort of story. An Iron Sword this turn. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Got the fire sword. Fire sword, deal a burning damage and knock up mobs uh, back with each strike. I'm going to test on one DT over here. Okay, does have a bit of an AOE. Oh. Another one spawn. Uh, That's a pretty good knockback. What's the damage? 13. Uh, it's a, it's less than a fully enchanted uh, Neverite sword. And it does, like I said, it does have some good knockbacks, so that. Might be a selling point for you, but uh, it doesn't even look as good as like the others. Really, it looks a bit lame compared to like the crossbow, which looks cool, or the ender spear, which looks cool. Well, it looks more like a trident than a spear, in my opinion. Anyway. Then we have a frost, the frost axe. So let me get 63 frost ingots. We well, probably only actually need three. Don't forget two. So I need an iron axe. Let's just dump them in there real quick. And a couple of sticks. Oh. There we go. Slap that in there. This one looks kind of cool. So frost, axe. Chill enemies in a small area with each swing. Yeah. 
it basically uh, freezes them. And it does 10 damage. Not bad. You can just like run up to something and go. Oh, well, you already took damage. Where's something that's not damaged? You. You can kill things pretty easy. But how much, uh, what, what did frost ingots cost to make again? Uh, frost ingots cost a steel ingot, two um, prismatic shards, and six snowballs. Yeah. That's a little bit expensive. Not really expensive, but a little bit. You have to get. You have to find a uh, ocean temple and go kill a few of them guys, a few guardian guys. But not too bad, only a nine axe here, yeah, that's fair. Because you can get all the materials fairly easily in the overworld. You still, but you do have to uh, factor in that, yeah, you don't have mending. A bow to get a boomerang, okay. Yeah. P bow. Boom, boom. Got a frost boomerang. This one looks the lamest out of all of them. So you just click. And it does damage to you. Uh, if, not if you stand still, but if you walk forward, it'll do damage to you. What about if I walk back? No? Okay, so just don't walk forwards. Uh, how much damage does it do? Does not tell me, so let's go a witch in here. Witch. Uh -huh. Two. Talk about three hits to kill her. There's one there, one back, and then another one on the way there, so... Okay. And the rain! I didn't even move that time, and it still hurts me. Range is a bit bad as well. Yeah, it's kind of lame. I think mean, that's going to be the most... The thing I'm going to say uh, the most in this review is kind of lame. An iron sword. Redstone chest. Sword. Iron sword in there. Frosting is in there. And then we have the uh, frost hammer. It does 10 attack damage. The, it's basically just, it's just the same as the last uh, thing. Don't know why that took three hits to kill her. No, it's basically just a retextured. Uh, what was it? Yeah, retextured frost frost axe. I mean, I guess you could say it's slightly better because you don't have to. You have to. You need one less iron ingot for it, but it's just like. Yeah. An uh, empty water bottle and uh, the one, uh, one of these magic ingots. Give that team magic ingots. Sure. I should have an empty bottle somewhere. Yep. Uh, got a bunch in here. Yeah. Yeah, we got. Bottle in there. Ingot in there. And we have the magic orb. What does the book say about the magic orb? Throw for magical damage over an area. 
So we throw it. Well, that was underwhelming. Oh. Three hits to kill. I believe Magic Ingots were one of the more expensive ones, weren't they? Yeah, a little bit expensive because it's only just like redstone and a uh, emerald, that and an pearl and amethyst crystal. So not super expensive, but it's just so uh, I guess it's fine. You know, I wouldn't really go on my way to get it. Come on. There you go, ho and uh, diamond ho and one of those magic ingots. Let's see, two diamonds and two sticks. Ho. Right, let's get this in there, that in there. Scratch my nose because it's itchy. And we have the magic sickle. What does magic sickle do? Magic sickle gain a speed boost for every hit. Why? It's 13 attack damage, so. A little bit better than the least. But why would I want a speed boost in a fight? It's just like summon witch. Like what? What is a speed boost gonna help me within a fight? And it's a very short speed boost as well. <laughs> and it's on. So you're not even gonna get that far if you're like trying to run away. It's just why? Why speed boost? Why not strength? We just resistance or regeneration or health boost, all of which would have been useful in an actual fight. But no, you give. A speed boost, a effect that is never gonna help anyone in a fight. Isn't that the same thing? No. Okay. Blaze rod. Laser rod. That'll oh, help if I put it there. Laser rod, magic crystal, or magic king or whatever. And got a magic staff. Uh, I'm just gonna guess it does magic damage. Just like the other staff. Yep. Yeah, it kills there in three hits again. I feel like she, she drops more loot. I don't know, does it have loot? Have like a looting effect to it? It'd be cool if I knew where the magic stuff was. Steel hammer. Magic sickle. And then. Oh, frost ten, frost, frost fire. And uh, well, it, the bug doesn't tell me what it does. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it might have a losing effect. I don't know, but it just does underwhelming as everything else. <laughs> Empty bottle and the day. Rebe. Oh, 
Where's Ruby Ingot? I thought it was just Ruby. Why do you just say Ruby Ingot? Now, Ruby's had Ingot. There are gems and there's an Enderman down here. Alright, so we be uh yeah. What? Oh yeah, empty bottle. <laughs> that in there, that in there. And we have Ruby Orb. Okay, that's all I'm asking for me to clean up after this. Probably should have read the book. Ruby Orb causes explosive blocks damage in the large radius. Keep your distance. Yeah. Probably would have been a good idea to check that before I threw it. Right outside the place. If I jump down here, let's find somewhere down here. Something down here to test it on. There should be something down here that's falling. You usually hear skeletons and stuff. Well, I was just hearing skeletons earlier. Oh, no, there's nothing. When I want there to be something, there's nothing. When, there, when I want there to be nothing, there's something. Ah. Okay, that's something I'm witching. <laughs> Witch. Oh. It didn't even kill the witch. She's still she's still alive. Yeah, no, would not recommend this at all. It just you'll just end up lowering up everything you love and you know and love. It's not even a kill. It can't even kill a witch after like three uses of it. Yeah, so most definitely would not recommend this whatsoever for anybody. Anyway, if you wanted to destroy, like blow up a hole, it's not, doesn't really make a big hole. Just damage it, does a bit of damage. That's not even good at doing that. I think there should be a hole around here somewhere for me to get in. Yep, hello. Up I go. Also, you I you just know that you're gonna forget about it. Hold it in your hand when you're in the chest, and then end up blowing up your chests. Diamond ho! Hold on. Ruby Scythe unleashes the power of rupees for devastating melee strikes. Permanently boosts speed. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of diamonds. This requires a diamond hoe. Diamond hoe. Ruby. Someone rich. Yeah, two shot. It does 12 attack damage. Yeah. I think it's actually better than the magic weapons because they only did the 10, 10 attack damage, didn't they? Um, I don't know, they did 13, so they are a little bit better. By like one damage point. And the magic ingots use ruby ingots, which. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. That, the, that they use ruby ingots, yeah, you can make weapons with the ruby ingots. 
that uh, just a little bit less powerful. Oh wait, no, that's an iron sword, not a diamond sword. Damn it. Iron sword. That in there, that in there. Ah, I got a ruby sword, it gives me speed. It, it only does eight attack damage. It's as good as a diamond. No, one attack damage better than a diamond sword. And the only reason why you would use this is because it gives you permanent speed. I mean, you know, that you might as well. Uh, emerald and medstone. Uh, And if you have emeralds, you, you can make an iron. You need an iron pickaxe to get emeralds unless you're trading with villagers. And if you're trading with villagers, you could just get to, uh, diamond swords off them for emeralds. Get that enchanted anyway. Uh, I need sapphire ingots too. One, two, ingots, two. I need a bow. Alright, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Summon witch. One, two, three. Three hits to kill a witch. This one seems a little bit more useful because it seems like the arrows travel further. No, actually, no. Still not very good as a ranged weapon. Doesn't do all that much damage either. Come on then, the leader pops. There you go. Yeah, again, just underwhelming. Right, again, why would I use a bow to craft this when I could just enchant the bow and do more damage with more, have more damage and more range? Like, it'd be okay if I hit you sacrifice some range for damage, but it's just not as good. Period. Diamond shovel. Diamond shovel. One of them. The sapphire spiked club, which does nine attack damage. There's a good bit of knockback, but I really tend to use knockback on melee weapons because unless you're fighting a creeper, it's not that useful. And now I'm poisoned. Yeah, again, just a bit underwhelming. And an iron sword. Yeah, this is annoying. Sword. Boom. And we have the sapphire sword. It does 11 attack damage. 
There's a four plus four attack damage from the Iron Sword, but bear in mind, Sapphires need one diamond, and it's not back yet. Yep. Yeah. I would just get two diamonds and make a diamond sword and turn that to make it into a Neverwise sword. It just seems like there's just too much squeeze for the little game. Now on to shiny ingots. Give that key. One, two, two more. And I need a crossbow. Crossbow. Well, that did not go far at all. So let's see, does this turn a villager into a witch? So you can't even use this to convert creepers into charge creepers. Oh, when he died, it converted him. Okay, you can convert creepers into charge creepers, so that's... It's useful for that at least because then you don't have to get a channel in trident to wait for the rain. Uh, the range on it still sucks. Um, hold on. Shiny ingot. I don't think they were excellent. I think they were. Yeah, just like die and iron. Yeah, that's fine. It has its uses, but I guess if I, I guess if you want charge creepers to get heads or something, then I guess it's good. At least it's a bit more convenient than a. Uh, Challenge Trident, because again, with that, you have to wait for a thunderstorm. Shiny Scimitar, which does 9 attack damage. And it's basically just like 2 ironing, well, that was an iron axe, so that's 2 plus 3, well, 5 ironing guts. And the bear die. Zaps you with light. Yeah, uh, I've said this multiple times with multiple different swords that uh, do these exact same thing. Uh, would not recommend you having a melee weapon that uh, strikes you with lightning. Because uh, it's just bad. Just a bad idea. I don't know why this keeps m popping up in multiple mod add-ons. Let's P try the trident. Boom, boom. Now it's a shiny trident. There's a ranged attack. It doesn't even have the same range attack as its colors, and it does doesn't do melee damage. It, it, and it's a bit hard to aim. So he's currently at 14 HP. No. And now 
He's at 14 HP. And now he's at 14 HP. It does literally zero damage. This is literally useless. Might as well just hit something with your fist. Bear in mind, tridents have the same attack damage as a diamond sword. Give a piece Oh well. And then I want to nine an axe. Boom, boom. And we have a steel flail. Which does ten attack damage. Which is a diamond sword. And not, yeah, diamond do diamond does seven. I can't remember how much an iron one does. Doesn't have a right click. And oh, when I left click, come back here, villager. When I left click, it just pops up a bit of snap. Whatever. Okay, what does it say about the steel flail? And the safe damage. If I, what? Does nothing but make a few particles, basically. It's a bit bad. What's next? An, uh, an entire bleeding anvil for this one. Uh, I'm just gonna get three iron blocks. Craft up an anvil. That's a lot of iron. Against this wall. Now I have to go all the way back. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, here we go. Right, stealing dot and the anvil. Oh, come on! There we go. That should not have been so difficult. up there. Steel hammer, na only nine attack damage. Come on. That's an entire bleeding anvil. That's nine, eighteen, twenty-seven plus uh, four. So that's, yeah, twenty, uh, thirty-one iron ingots. And you're only going to give me a uh, nine attack damage hammer. Doesn't even do okay, it does like counter attack. Right, looks like everybody's just like Man, that's lame. Lame. 
Way too much cost for le way too little benefit. I, you're supposed to go by whacking them over the head with a bleeding anvil. I could do more damage with a normal anvil. Iron sword and the steel ingot. Ingot, sword. A lame looking eight damage steel sword. So, how come the hammer only does one more damage even though that takes up an entire bleeding anvil? I mean, at least the sword is less egregious because you only need an iron sword and a steel ingot. Okay, on to poison ingots now, and I think this is the last one. Give at the poison. One, two, three, four, two, empty bottle. Boom. Got the poison bottle, and I assume this poisons. Um. Oh, well, that went right through. There we go. Oh! What? Is even going on? Oh, you. What? Well, that's random and stupid. So. Destroys everything basically. Didn't even kill the witch, just destroyed my base. Again, you're gonna what you are gonna end up right clicking with this accidentally and then destroying your base. Why use the serious dark? Like why would I use this? As a weapon, at least. I don't know, that doesn't even seem very good for mining. Yeah, I can make a big hole a bit. It's lagging a bit. I'm just confused because I didn't even poison the witch, it just, it just summons these things that breaks blocks. It's like, why? Why? Why does it not poison? Why does the poison ingot or the poison of, why does that not poison? Why does it summon these weird things that breaks blocks? I'm so confused right now. Let me go for digging a hole, really. It just makes a mess. I mean, at least up here it's a bit wider. But it's just a mess. Why would anybody use that rubbish?
Well, uh, what's the last item on us? Poison crossbow. What am I doing? Give that people us. And I'm going to create a version. Well, they didn't destroy my base this time, at least. <laughs> if it would... Hit... Oh, there's one poison! Why didn't you want poison? This is stupid. Enjoy living in that hole, witch. Well, it's, uh, axe. I'm surprised I survived that. Gives you the why does this give why does the axe give you a hammer in this one but with the other one you need an anvil for an um, hammer this does 17 attack damage what the fuck why the shit does this do 17 attack damage and i don't even think poison ingots are that expensive okay they are a bit expensive with needing two ending gots And a firing got. A firing got need one. Never right. And then they got needing steel and obsidian. But this is like, even then, that's still way more powerful than anything else. Like, th why add this? Making literally everything else in the game not just not worth going after. Like, if you're if you're doing this add-on, why would you not just go all the way, get a poisoning got? Get an iron axe and get a, get a poison hammer. It's better than literally everything else. Alright, my manuring cleaver, yeah, does 27. So it does 10 more, so yes. Still not as good as my manuring cleaver. Guinea cat and channel, but it's far better than anything else in this add on. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't do the end of X, did we? Because the uh didn't bring up so iron axe. Yeah, because for some reason it's all the way at the back instead of at the front, like the other and uh stuff yeah. and you got the end of axe there's 15 attack damage and that's it so my review, overall review of this add-on, it's like it just—it's just a point. Like they just the weapons are too ex. They they look some of them look cool, some of them don't, but they're just too expensive for how much like damage they do. It's just like why would I bother crafting half like ninety percent of these items when? Uh, you know, most of them don't do e enough damage compared to their cost. Others just make 
holes everywhere, so why would I use that? Use them and instead like something that actually does damage. And it's just not no, I do I cannot recommend this add-on. Like they like the range weapons aren't even properly ranged. And they only hit like a few blocks in front of you. Oh wow, so much range. Just say no. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video, hope to see you guys in the next one, and bye bye.